when you study spirituality and you're open to a lot of ways of doing it, when you take one path all the way to the end and then you explore another path all the way to the end and another path all the way to the end so that you can help other people fight against internalized pain and oppression and become awake, begin to love themselves and everyone else and feel joy in their hearts. Even during times of trouble, you learn a lot of methodologies. But you can't say you're just one thing. The best gift from all of this study and all of these different modalities is knowing how to put together what really works for every person. As part of my Qigong class, this first one anyway, we will be using this methodology using a practice called Nada Yoga, which is the yoga of sound in order to help set the chakras to vibrate at a powerful level so that the power that flows through the body can be enhanced. This along with Qigong, which is also known as working the energy, the Qi or the spirit, these two as a combination, moving meditation and sitting meditation, Will we live in the body, help us become more aware, and help on the mental, physical, and spiritual level. Many people in our country practice not a yoga or the yoga of sound. The type we'll be going over is from the Vedic tradition. The Vedic tradition uses sounds that sound a bit harder, sharper but really aren't. And these sounds are designed to help enhance different parts of the body, to release energy, to help one grow. And doing the chanting forces one to breathe in the correct manner that helps the energy flow, helps one breathe, and helps one cleanse oneself. We're gonna just do one meditation showing you what the Vedic tradition sounds like. Many of you have probably done this chant at the beginning of yoga classes and many other places. Usually here we do it from bhava yoga or from a worshipful state where the pronunciation and the breathing is not really seen as that important but we are going to show you what it sounds like from the Vedic tradition which we will be using during our Qigong Plus class. Gnor na an twa gona patakum avam he kavin kavina mupa mashravastanam just a rajam brahaman brahamanaspita anishrin vanutabis sida sadanam om sri maha gona pataye namaha sri guru bio namaha om Ganarna antwa gona patagumma vamahe kavin kavina mupa mashravastanam jastara jam brahman brahman aspita anashrin vanut bisida saranam om sri maha gana pataye namaha sri guru bio namaha rihi om Gnorna antwa gona patagumma vamahe Kavin kavina mupa mashravastanam Jastara jam brahaman brahman aspita Anishrin vanutabhisida saranam 
Om Sri Maha Ganapati Ye Namaha Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Rihi Om There we have it, folks. So if you've been doing that chant at the beginning of yoga classes for a long time, try it that way, the way that we just did it, and see how it feels different. We won't be doing that exact chant, of course. We are going to do bijas or small little sounds that help work with each chakra. And we are going to do a meditation that I learned from a poet, a social activist, and an Asian American who apparently learned this form of qigong from her family, a form of tai chi qigong which works at bringing energy into those chakra points. So I look forward to seeing you in the class. Namaste, folks. We start February 2nd. Please let us know if you're going to come by the 25th of January. Thanks again. For more information, hit the link below and you can find out how and where to register.